Good morning, modern steaders. This morning, we're gonna be working on our concrete countertop desk project. We have our matching corbel that goes with our kitchen island. And the kitchen island corbels were just all left natural barn board color. This one, for some reason, somebody started painting it and never finished it. This is how we got it. So we're gonna paint this one a cream color and do some antiquing to it. Our first step right now is to put one coat of paint on. We found what works well for us is the Lowe's or Valve Spa furniture grade paint. It works awesome. We've used this on the kitchen island and we were able to do some antiquing with it. And it's not that chalky finish, which comes with like the chalk paint, some of the other furniture funky paints. This is why we had to keep the top covered up when it was drying, huh, Figaro? You would have been all over it. Crazy cat. I'm probably going to end up having a cat that has more white spots in it by the time we're finished today. No. For this, we like using the foam brushes because this is rough lumber. A brush doesn't work as well as a foam one does. I guess you gotta go upstairs, Mr. Figaro. All right, now that Figaro is upstairs, let's get some paint on. foam brush makes it a lot nicer to get in all the little hard to fill spots of rough sawn lumber. I think it'll be kind of nice having some corbels that are the same but painted different. Just kind of add different accents to the house and break it up a little bit. The foam brushes do take it a little hard. Luckily, they're not very expensive. We'll let that dry and come back to it when it's dry and see how it looks. I wanted to show you something I got yesterday. Look at this. It's a 23 gallon stock pot. Found an awesome deal on it. 
but we'll be able to make some a whole lot of bone broth during our three-day pasture to plate whole hog culinary class. That is gonna work perfectly. It's meant for brewing beer. You got a little petcock here so we can drain out the broth when it's ready. I plan on using it for making maple syrup also. The price I found on that online was crazy inexpensive. It's got a couple of dents on it. It's brand new, but it's got a minor dent here and there, so it'll work perfect. And there's the big one. Oh no. While that dries, we'll go to the lumber store and get our rough sawn lumber that we need. But let's get the fire going so we keep it nice and warm in here to help that paint dry. Better make sure we're wearing the right clothing. You're in my spot there, Figaro. And not forget our tape measure. Not a very far ride, but the snow is deep. Actually, it's pretty packed. Let's see if we can unbury some boards. Everything is frozen. All right, I think one more board will do it. Let's see if we can find the right one. It's kind of like a pile of Tetris. Hmm. Yep. 
Maybe that one right here. Ah, she's frozen. It's frozen. Huh. All the ones I want are frozen in place. I think that pile will do it. We just gotta get it in the house, leave it in there for a few days next to the wood stove and let it dry out. I didn't think I'd be able to walk on top of the snow like I am. I thought I was gonna be sinking in at least to almost my knees. Let's get the wood in the house. Someday it'll be nice to have my own shop, but for now, the basement will do. We'll make it work. Just gets a little tight down here sometimes with all of our projects going on in the winter time. I wonder how the Corbell's doing. Let's see. It looks pretty good. There's a few spots that I'm not 100% happy with. So let's put a second coat on it and just get it a nice finish then we can sand some off and do some more antiquing. I'll get it all painted up and ready to go and Gina will do the antiquing later on. I think it's going to look good all said and done. It'll add a nice touch of color to the house upstairs. It's a neutral color. I really like how the wood grain is still showing with that rough sawn lumber. Just gives it so much more texture. You see the texture in that wood grain? That just looks absolutely gorgeous to me. It really makes it pop and stand out. 